working its way tonight, set up with Hollywood's highfalutin Big Buck Fair. We've got a modest little clip you'll want to see. But next, big plans are about... And finally tonight, we hear stories out of Tinseltown all the time concerning inflated movie budgets, snotty stars, and the like. <laughs> We, on the other hand, do not have that problem. In Eden Prairie this morning, the actors were modest and the screen were pretty small at the screening of the locally produced film called Star Trek The Pepsi Generation. 35 kids aged 6 to 9 wrote, produced, and starred in the TV takeoff. And listen to this. The movie was shot and edited in two weeks at a cost of... Ten dollars. <laughs> Ten dollars. Somebody's not counting the camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Rick. We have some uh, fantastic weather tonight. Great sleeping weather. Temperatures in the 50s tomorrow should be sunny. A couple of high clouds will tend to milk the sunshine. Make it milky. That's what I'm trying to get at. Should be a good day, though, with a high in the 80s and then humidity and hot weather come back Wednesday. Tim? Twins take on the Mariners tonight at the Metrodome. And, of course, more on the Can't Miss Kid. Now, they may not have included the cost of the camcorder, but can you believe somebody in Hollywood is probably going, how are these kids, and Waterworld costs how much? Was it $10, <laughs> 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 Waterworld, $40 million or whatever it was. $200. 200 million, yeah, that's yeah. Right. I'm sorry, $40 million for the star seller or something like that. That's all we have time for right now. We'll see you back here at 10. Good night. <laughs>